Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make nested subforms. That's a subform inside of another subform inside of a parent form. And all three of these will be continuous forms. They'll be list forms. Here you can see in the example, we've got departments with each department having multiple courses and each course having multiple classes in it. Today's question comes from Elaine from Santa Fe, New Mexico, one of my access expert students. She says, I have someone who wants to enter info for each of the four tables in the database in one giant form. I've created four different forms with continuous subforms. I'm stumped as to how to get them to work together, flowing from the top table selection and then related data showing through the other three tables. How do you set this up? Well, Elaine, you could do this by setting up multiple continuous subforms. I'll set it up with three of them for you. We'll do a fictional college. We'll do departments, and each department will have multiple courses, and each course will have multiple classes in it. Let's see how that works. You can see here on the title screen, I've got departments, and then each department has multiple courses, and then each course has multiple classes. So to create nested subforms, I need three separate tables. I'm going to do departments, courses, and classes. All right, here's my list of departments, math, astronomy, physics, and so on. Inside of those, you'll have courses, like the math department will have algebra, trigonometry, calculus, and so on. And then each course type will have a list of classes, like Algebra 101, Algebra 102. And you could put additional details in here if you want to. This simply is just for the illustration of the class. Now, for each of these, I've created a continuous form. So here's department. Here's courses. All right. Each course has a department ID. That's how you make that relationship. I've got lots of other videos on making relationships, right? You can basically see right here, department one is math. And over here, there's department one all three of these actually, right? Department one and those guys, and they all have their own course ID, foreign key, primary key. Okay. And then inside of courses, we've got classes. There's the classes. All right. So here's the course ID and this is the course ID. Al Algebra has got those two. What I want to do is make these nested subforms. So inside the department form, we're going to have the course form inside the course form. We'll have the class form and so on. Now, I actually have another video that talks about putting a form inside of another form if it's a list form, if it's a continuous form. But I didn't do three of them, and I got some extra tricks for the members at the end of this video. So just keep watching. You're going to learn something. First thing we're going to do is take this class form and put it inside the course form. So let's open up the course form for design view. Open this guy up, and we're going to put it right down here in the subform. All right, grab the class form, click, drag, drop. It says a form of the subform object can't have its default view property set to continuous forms. Sure it can. Hit OK. Delete that label that comes up there. Line this guy up where you want it, like right, maybe right about there. Because the, I want the course ID to line up under the course ID. Okay. Maybe make this a little bit bigger if you want. Okay, like so. And then go up into the properties of the form and you'll see it change the single form. Just change it back. That's all. Like I said in the other video, I don't know if that's a bug or if it's by design, but it will let you get away with it. Save, close, and now open up that course form. And there you go. All right, you can see these are linked up. Okay, now let's put the course form inside the department form. This is the extra step. Design view. Actually, let's close this one. Open up department form. Design view. Let's do the same thing again. Drag this guy down like that. Grab the course form, drag and drop. All right, same error message, hit OK. Let's delete that label. Slide this over to the left a little bit like that. Do one of these, do one of those. Change this back to continuous forms. And now, open it up, and there we go. Don't have a lot of room inside of this one though, so let's see if we can adjust that a little bit. Just make this subform a little bit bigger. There we go. Save it, close it, and now let's open it back up again. There we go, that's perfect. I just didn't make this subform big enough. But now you can see here's my departments, the courses, and the classes. 
All right, astronomy, physics doesn't have anything. Literature, right? I'm on Star Trek in this one. Who's your favorite captain and why is it Picard? Lord of the Rings, we've got favorite Hobbit potato recipes. And so on. If I want to add another Lord of the Rings title, I can come right down here, right? There's Gandalf's hat. And it automatically fills in the course for me. Now, if you don't care about seeing all these IDs, go ahead and hide them, right? They're only really for access to make relationships. We don't need those. Unless you want to put your own kind of identifier in there. All right? They've got to be present. It's easier to start with the inside one first, design view. They have to be on here to make relationships with. But what I like to do is I'll just move them over here in the middle. And then, oh, I, I didn't click. There we go. Click on them like that. Right click, properties, visible to know. All right? And then we'll delete that, delete that. And we'll put right here, we'll make this label just say class or classes or whatever you want the label to say. Okay, slide that over like so. Make this smaller now. Let's see what's in there. Oh, that, that, I was wondering why this wouldn't go any slower. That's because this is, needs to be resized. Okay. If you can't resize, that means something's blocking it. Save it, close it. Do the same thing with the courses, design view, right? Get rid of these, right click, properties, visible, no. Still want them on here, don't need to look at them. All right, now we can slide this guy over a little bit. Leave it indented just a, just a tiny touch, like so. All right. Okay, get rid of this and this. Actually, let's leave the course one. All right, this will be the courses. Save it, close it, and finally, design view, slide that department ID over here, slide that over this way. Actually, I forgot to make that invisible, didn't I? Right click, position, send it back. So this guy's in the front. I want him there for design view. Visible is no. And this will be department. Or departments, whatever you want it to be. We'll stay plural since that first one's plural. Save it, close it, open it up. There you go. Now that looks pretty. And you don't have to worry about IDs. They're all in there. All right. All right. We'll put classes in our astrophysics department. All right. Cosmos. And then uh, Neil deGrasse. Tyson's favorite hits. I'm a big fan, so I got to put him in there. Got to get him in one of my classes. <laughs> all right, but now you can come in here. You can, you know, and you can put all the supporting data in here as well. I just built it simple for the for class. You could put like in your courses here, you could put other information like who the instructor is and all that. All right, for the classes, you could put individual classes in there. All right, like the, their, their schedule, what room they're in and so on. In fact, that could be a fourth level, sessions, right? Each class might have multiple sessions. You've got access for beginners, right? Session A might be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6 p.m. in, you know, Bell Hall Room 101 or whatever, all right? This, this gives you a blueprint of how to set something like this up, and it's easier to work with it like this instead of having multiple extra forms that pop up, all right? Having subforms like this is the easiest way to organize your data, okay? And you got... You know, each one is, is shows you the layers below it. Want to learn more about nested subforms? In the extended cut, not only will I show you how I built all of this stuff, all the tables, all the forms from, from scratch, from the beginning, but I will also show you how to set up a student's table and student subform. We'll create a junction table with a many-to-many -many relationship so many students can belong to each class and each class can have many students associated with it. We'll build a combo box and then we'll put that inside the classes subform. So now you can pick your department, the course, the class inside each course, and then pick the students that are inside each one of these classes. Right? And there you go. That's another level. This is a many-to-many -many relationship. These are all one-to-many relationships. 
Once again, that is the members only extended cut edition of the nested subforms video. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and other perks. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different perks that are available. Silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. But don't worry, these tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making them, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and share. Click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and be notified of any new releases. Check for additional resources down below the video. Click the show more button and you'll see a list of other links to other videos, downloads, resources, lessons, and lots more. If you have not yet tried my free access level one course, it's three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1 and that's free for my members. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can post your question there. Also, be sure to stop by my access forum on my website. And also look for me on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross with AccessLearningZone.com. Thanks for learning with me, and I'll see you next time.